What is up guys, Pulder here, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's time to end another month, finish another chapter with our mission, Saving Deirdre. Shortly after claiming the Kingdom Capital, a request for aid arrives from Claude. To save the Alliance from ruin, you head to Deirdre, the aquatic capital. I'm excited. All the, the monastery conversations at the start of the month were like really hyping up how beautiful this place is. So it's time to see. Having allowed the Imperial Army to invade, the Alliance Army makes their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. The Kingdom Army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. The citizens of Deirdre have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Hello, Claude and Judith. Are you sure about this? If Deirdre were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for... Deirdre won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh, yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Oh, based on the background, I think we've seen this map before. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape after all. And for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. <laughs> a leader a man. of hope will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Gondor, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Claude, reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here, and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Deirdre and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnel, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. That's Claude for you. You're planning a pincer? Oh yes. I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Claude would risk everything on that belief. Uh, that's fitting. He has placed all of his hopes on us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. Here we go. Let's move. Okay, so I did all outfitting and whatnot. Let's see, is this the map I think it is? Yes, without the boats. Interesting. Okay. It looks so weird without the boats. But this is the Shamir Aloise Paralog. And you know, a, a few days ago, I was actually just thinking to myself, we've seen, I think, every single map at least twice, except for this one. I mean, there, there have been a few new ones that have popped up recently, but as far as ones that are, we saw super early on, like this was pre-time skip paralog. And this is the only time we've seen it outside of that paralog. Hello, Arendelle. Hades, Thoron. Okay, you're not fast. Oh my God, 31 defense, 34 res. Okay. He doesn't move. Anything? Oh, what do you got? Concoction. Who the hell do you think I am? Oh, hey, Judith. Okay. Any chests? No. But let's see. Hilda. I wonder. Would these have been other units? Because Hilda, I mean, she said she retreated, right? If we would have left anyone alive on Granderfield, 
I wonder if it would have mattered. Or if just beating the map would have presumed they would have died anyway. I don't know. What's the... Let's see. Defeat enemy commander. Okay. And then it's... Demetri... Okay, I was... What is Judith? Judith is allowed to die. So many battalions packed into such a small space, too. All right. Well, we got Ash in here. He sat out last... The, the paralog, so we'll bring him back in. Go here. Uh, let's also swap. Okay. The leader of the alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency. There's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. I will not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rescue. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. Okay. Well, leave it to me. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? I definitely want to throw it like I. Well, okay. So many battalions. Flane is actually going to have an issue here. Um, Dimitri, if he keeps his health up, I'll cut should through. work out pretty well. Uh, but Flame could also not reach. I'm your girl. Hold on, we gambit. Okay, hold on. Let's go here, I'll and then I'm going best. to Thanks for that. dance. Ready when you are. Then we're going to. Oh wait. No, I need to gambit from the side. Okay. And then stride. Much needed. There we go. Oh, one more. Oh, I got them mixed up from when she was a flyer. I was like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Okay. Takes the mortal savant down. I won't stop here. These two worthless lure, huh? Yeah, the, the gambits are gonna really suck. All right. Well, with the stride buff on everyone, At your service. can we kill from back here? Yeah, we can. Might as well do that. Because yeah, she's the only one that hasn't moved this turn. I am prepared. Uh, that didn't get the stride buff. Let's do that. Let me highlight this section. You also move. Just a Bolganon, okay. Are there any siege tomes? Also, these dudes, they have like fancy swords. Then in edges. Okay, it's like, it looks like they have like scimitars or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe. Oh wait, I need this chunk of people highlighted. I should be able to take this dude out at the very least. What's maybe. the plan, Sylvain? Can't double him. 
Um, we can gambit him, make him not move. Sure. Zia's lure. Which is annoying. Uh, yeah, we'll go here. We still need support points between these two, so might as well. And we might as well start setting up Flame. Dude had vantage. Ooh, something to look for. Okay, more things we gotta check. Let's have a look, see. Anything? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hi. Axe of Zoltan. Magic bow, Aurora shield. Sup, buds? Do you have retribution? Yeah, you do. That's the magic bow. Look, the Imperial Army Supply Corps. Attacking now would be a fine plan. <laughs> Okay. That was unexpected. What's my strategy? Um, I know I gambited you. I mean, you must lead them well. <laughs> oh, hey, define a void. I don't know if I'm gonna use that. This seems like a risky thing. I don't know how much a void it adds. Maybe 50, like crit, but that seems very iffy. I don't, I don't like the thought of that. Maybe if I did some like crazy setup. It's kind of, well, kind of like Flame, where she just. God's nuts, asking me to protect the bridge. That's so much responsibility. Or she maxes crit if you could just get a stupid amount of avoid, kind of like Dimitri, but further. But Dimitri has a personal joining in so i don't know the guy's so helpless i feel sorry for him so i'll do what i can to protect him let's go hilda oh she's poisoned okay Please don't hit. Oh, annoying. A threat eliminated. Okay, magic bow. Having Hilda survive this is gonna be a feat. The subjugation of Deirdre is complete. We will be joining the main army now. Ah, they're showing up one after another. Nothing for it but to blockade the gate leading to the town. I don't want the enemy's numbers to increase okay. anymore. It's no good. We're surrounded. But I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. There's no other way. Okay. So... Uh, didn't heal as much as I would have wanted to see. Okay, take the flyer down. I fight. There you go. Oh, it's still alive. <laughs> All right then. So where is the? Oh, that's pretty close. All right then. We can do that no problem. Let's see. I'm gonna smite you. How far can Marianne move? All right, well, if we go here. Can I physic? Yeah, physic Dedu from way downtown. No, 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 stay here. We will dance for Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes can take out you. Sylvain, oh, can't reach. 
we shove Sylvain, then he can. Uh, we can also reach... We can reach one here. Okay. Uh, gotta help protect Judith. I would like to try and... If I can, keep them all alive. So, I'm gonna go this way. Take you down. Thank you. That was a big help. I'll go and cover our leader. Okay. Now, there's no battalions over here. So, is there any range weapons? Silver Lance, Silver Axe, Silver Axe, no. So, Flame should be able to take care of it. But also. Under. Well. Felix should be. I mean, 19 defense isn't great. Never betrays. Just a 33 speed? That was a good level, too. Hmm. Well, okay, I can I can clear shop, right? Like Mercedes can take this dude down. Let's keep our guard. And then we can reposition. And then Sylvain takes this dude down. So if there is a another reinforcement, it's 3v1. All is good there. Prudent. And then it's just these next three things of attack of battalion users that Flame doesn't want a part of. She does not want any part of them. Oh, there are three sections glowing blue. I did not realize that. I knew the reinforcements came from over there. I did not realize all of them were those, you know, a, a section to disable. More proof of my loyalty. Axe of Zoltan. Uh, that's probably better to give to. There's an axe, 17 might. Better axe to give to Flame than the one that heals her. Ow. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. We need Mercedes. Pronto. Oh, can she? It looks like there is a spot she can go. Oh, it's not a safe spot. It's over here. Where's Marianne? All right, let's go here. We're gonna take this I dude down. Forty is... level four. I expect no less. Let's see, Dedu. Getting a tree. Using an elixir. Sylvain can't, well, can Sylvain attack something from here? No. Okay, that was a weird pause. It was like pausing like it wanted to say something. How much movement? Seven. Okay, just making sure I could get out of harm's way after doing this, which we can. Oh! One to remember. Knew you well that. Okay. Okay. Okay, we need to protect Judith. So let's see. Well, okay. Uh, do I need to? Fifty-four out of seventy. 
I think we might be fine for one more turn. We don't have a talent. We can talk to Hilda. Let's run Dimitri forward. Mm. Red Bar does it. It is done. Okay. Let's see. With the Mortal Savant. I think because it's a mortal savant, like I don't even I'm gonna check its res afterwards, but I'm pretty I'm sure Okay. I'm pretty sure Dimitri 2424. Similar to Sylvain actually. 2222, yeah. Just slightly better. Can we kill you with the crescent? Yeah we can. Please don't get hit. I know it's 30, but Thank you. I won't stop here. Very well. A rank bow for Gilbert. What's gonna hit you? Is it you? Oh, you can. Oh, and he's going to. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case, don't be stupid. <laughs> Okay, elixir. Flame, come up here. And who hasn't moved? Oh, Annette and Ingrid. All right. Smite you forward. All right. Clever. I can't believe they pushed through to here. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off the leader of the Alliance. Oh, he, he's jo- Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I swear it wasn't in vain. Hilda, you got this. You got hit by the 58, too. You got hit by literally everything there. Girl. You're too kind. Oh, boy. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, we will take it down. Yes, we have enough Sagittarius to do that. 42. Need to pull my weight. More magic, Dex. I appreciate that. Defense. Okay. I can I can get behind that level. Uh. Thoron. Oh, I didn't. That was a waste. You thought well. I mean, it's one use Thoron. This could have been worse, could have been two. Okay. Let's see. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna throw Dimitri out here. If we gambit this archer, um, it hits the other archer, it hits the armor. Or I can gambit this dude. No, actually, I think the archers. Don't let them retreat. Yeah, it gambits. There are three with uh, enemies with gambit this dude, the other archer, and the armor, which are the three that are gonna get hit. And. 
The archers are the reason I can't just like fly over with Byleth. Idu still hasn't killed this dude. Come on, now. die. How close? We need we need silver bows in here, man. You're really doing a number. Sixty nine, dude. You had it. to do this because she doesn't have retribution up well okay first things first I don't trust Hilda to survive anymore I gotta do that we can get Ingrid in here one use of Luin, two uses of Brave Land, one use of Luin. You took me lightly. Okay. Two silver axes. Not in range of Lord Arendelle, right? No one. Okay. Good. I'm I am afraid of him. I didn't no, uh, 29 magic, okay. Magic side, not crazy high, but defense side it just scares me. Just a wee bit. Okay, right, can I get... No, I can't get on the talking side of Hilda. That's fine. Another victory. Take out the archer. There you go, Aloise. You guys happen to have, like, Oh, why, why did I do that? Whatever, it's pressure off of Hilda. And she doesn't move. Okay, they don't have a breaker. Let's see here. I'm trying to decide who I want to dance for I think I want to dance for Sylvain you're a big help because Sylvain Sagitte obliterates you Nosferatu doesn't unfortunately Fusilad locks you in place Levin sword okay if he hits me Levin sword is fine because if he hits me we're gonna get all our health back from life taker anyway is that it we don't get stronger. hit. Yeah, he did 19, we got 22 from Life Taker. Oh, you live in? Okay, Aryan Road is right there. There's dialogue for talking to Claude. For our future. I really would like to see it. But I'm gonna be forced to confront. I think I called him Arya. I'm gonna be forced to confront Arendelle. Oh, we have retribution. This works. I completely forgot retribution was on. So there we go. And he doesn't, he has, uh, oh, Judith, what are you doing? Oh, hey, thanks. We might, okay, you know what? We're gonna do some, uh, time wheel shenanigans. Let me just make sure, can he be rooted in place? Doesn't this personal, st stop that. Elvise, death effects, status effects. Greatly does damage from enemy gambits. Movement effects, yeah, okay. So, not attack, we're going to reposition. 
Okay, we're gonna talk here. Professor, it's been too long. I was hoping you'd show up. Seeing you puts a spring in my step. Come on, time to give him the Hilda treatment. Hell yeah, girl. Okay, and then we undo. What's my strategy? And then we come out here. Professor, if you had chosen me instead of Dimitri, no, I shouldn't dwell on it. I'm grateful you came. I'm glad to have your strength, if only for today. We did it the first time. It's fine. All right. Actually, I think we're we're fine to to leave that alone. Well, no, no, we're not because I used Dimitri begin player phase. Or I want Dimitri to run up to Arendelle. Leave it to me. All right. What's my strategy? Hopefully we don't kill. Cuz this is one of those situations. Well, you know what? Can I gambit and not have any chance? Yeah, perfect. Your very presence has foiled our plans yet again. Now's our chance. I want to make sure because that's the the game winning condition. If I end up killing him with a crit or some shit, then I can't even undo to check Dimitri. Twenty hit, twenty crit. Yeah, Crescent Sickle brings that down to eight hit. Much better. Uh, real quick, before we do that, isn't someone, well actually, maybe everyone, because he mastered that. I think this is Byleth. Oh wait, no, we mastered that this map. Okay, maybe everyone is good to go then. All right. You would raise a weapon against your uncle. You've grown into a savage of a man, just like your father. You are rather calm for one in your position. Or did you forget that this is a battlefield? <laughs> it's like you talking a lot of shit in stabbing distance. Perhaps this is no time for words, uncle. There will be time for that after we have settled things here. Too slow. Gone. Body. Do our hopes end here. Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia? No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. Oh, he was like, I ain't telling you shit and was out. Damn. You protected Hilda and Judith. Oh, uh, hey, a giant shell and a goddess icon. Look at us, we did it. And there was a prize for it. Good. All right, let's wrap this up. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. And again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting, uh, for now, let's rejoice on our victory. Yeah, we'll, is absolutely right. We'll think about that we later. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you are safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. That seems like an interesting call. In regards to Dimitri. 
I mean, like, how did he know that he wasn't still feral? I mean, I guess because he reclaimed the kingdom. So I guess, sure. You know him so you well. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. <laughs> After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that, but it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But that ends today. Oh? What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. The legendary bow fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no more. What? Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to lead Foden, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Yeah, that was one of the one of the tidbits that I mentioned. I don't even know how long ago now. What caused the Alliance to split off from the kingdom in the first place? Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other lords at the roundtable conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. Fair enough. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Will you join our army? Hold your horses there, Teach. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do. Dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. I couldn't have predicted he was going to give us fail not <laughs> or really any of that. I mean, going to see the world. Sure. That's very, that's Claude's dream, but. Wow. I don't know if we have, does, isn't he the only one with Crest of Regan in the game? I'm going to double check that. I mean, it's new game plus, so we can just give someone the Crest of Regan um, and then be good to go. Though, oh, E rank and bow. I was like, I don't know. We were just talking about the iron bow being a problem for De, uh, for Dedu. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, crests. Regan. Yeah, it's just clot. I am looking forward to that. Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? I was like, yeah, well, what do you mean truth? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? Oh. Okay, that's not a wi that's not widely known. Okay. To claim that the king and the emperor are related, could it be? Ah. I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the professor. Yeah. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. 
My stepmother filled that role for me. But she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on. I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes. All those who were close to my father knew, including Rodrigue. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. That's fair. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? I don't know. It was just a thought. I am afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. I was like, yeah, if if Annette was on the right track, absolutely. Wait, I remember now. She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to. Yeah, she was. <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please <laughs> hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, Your Highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now, but the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Okay. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family. I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. It probably won't end well. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? But I appreciate that and it really shows the, the change there. From Pharaoh, like, I need her head. To maybe we can talk. Yes, your majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Wait, wait, wait. Drop of joy. Uncle defeat is a drop of joy? Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor who is successfully mobilizing the Knights of Saros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arian Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on. Hmm. Okay, well there we have it. Another chapter down, and it seems, if I had to guess, we have three chapters left? I don't remember the chapter amount from Golden Deer, but just based on what they said, we're going to go to Fort Mercius, and then we're going to do Enbar, and then the Imperial Capital inside, like the inside map of Enbar. And then we're probably done. There might maybe another one. Maybe there's a 22. I don't remember, but there we go. This one, it was refreshing to see again.
and refreshing that it was completely different. Like, there weren't boats. It wasn't just a one-to-one. -one. So that was cool. I would have loved to see more of that for some of the maps we've seen that have been um, reused. Different elements barricaded or whatnot, I think could have been cool. It's very similar to how, like, um, Valkyria Chronicles games, they, they tend to reuse maps, but they use barricades to make your paths completely different pretty much every time you play them. Um, so it's always, there's always a, some sort of something or another you have that's refreshing or new to figure out. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.